So if you're looking for an RV that's going to be spending longer than a week, month, or maybe even a couple years on a piece of property or even some of the local parks, the new 2022 destination model is certainly one to consider. Residential size appliances, washer and dryer connections, but there are still a couple of downsides to owning a new destination model, it used to be known as a park model. When you're in transit going up and down the road, these things aren't the best and easiest to tow. Almost 43 feet in length pulling from the bumper of your truck. Doesn't quite pull as well as some of the fifth wheels that are in the bed. But they're not really designed to be going up and down the road. Even the refrigerator, it does not work until you're plugged into shore power. So just keep that in mind when purchasing one of these newer destination models. They're great for putting them in place on a piece of property, getting them set up. It's practically a mobile home on wheels or in some of the younger term, younger generation, what they're calling them nowadays, tiny houses. And yes, with the slides closed in, you will be able to access the refrigerator and the restroom if you choose maybe to, I don't know, have a hot drink going down the road, but to avoid utilizing this in the public restrooms, you will definitely have access to one of the two bathrooms. But we're going to start on the outside of the coach going over the different weights, the specs, and dimensions before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming at you 42 feet, 4 inches in length is this 2022 Palomino Puma 39 DBT. Falls underneath the Forest River umbrella for all of your service and warranty work. Three total slides with a dry weight of 10,050 pounds. And speaking of weight, here on the ball of your truck, almost 1,500 pounds. So definitely recommend a good weight distribution hitch with the sway bar to help out as much as possible when towing this. 96 inches wide and it's stabilized with four scissor jacks, one on each corner. There's one of them right down there. Fully enclosed underbelly. And you can have a 21 foot awning, which is this one's black in color. There is LED lights that run the length of the awning. Let's see if I can get up there and give you a shot of those. Nice big sliding door. Five foot eight entryway there, 30 inches wide. Two different entryways. This will enter into the private bedroom in the front that houses the king size bed. It does have the friction hinge on there as well. So when traveling up and down the road, there is no built-in inverter to power these residential appliances inside of this model. So that is one of the downsides to ha having something like this. This model is blindside camera prepped. That's what that is up there. This model has roller shades inside, which definitely does a great job of keeping all the heat out. And there is 80% tint on all the windows all the way around, as you can already tell. You do have some additional storage on the outside. And I don't believe this is unlocked. Yeah, I forgot that one. But it's underneath the bed. I'll make sure to give you guys a view underneath the bed once we get inside. Sewer connections on this model, you're going to have three different ones. So up here in the front, you're going to have what appears to be two grays and a black handle up here. Back here in the back, there's a gray. And there's another hookup for a gray and a black. So three different ones. You're looking at possibly four total lines if you decide to run all these sewer lines in unison together. Two different air conditioners on this model. You're going to have a 13.5, correction, 15K, and then a 13.5 in the bedroom. And one really cool thing they've done with the 22 models, last year the hot water tank was about anywhere between 10 to 12 gallons, just really depending on the, the brand that you get. This year, the tankless hot water heater has been a step up. And I've got an interesting question for you guys. How long do you think that will hold up? Like running water continuously, do you think it'll keep up or will it eventually get cold? I haven't personally turned one of these on and just let a whole entire bottle of propane run through it to see. So if you have and you have some experience with these tankless hot water heaters, let me know. Here's a shot of some of the stickers on the outside before heading in. So three total slides, but only one in your kitchen slash living area here. 
Ceiling height inside of the coach of 80 inches tall. That's a sleeper sofa there. Freestanding table with four chairs. There is some carpet inside of the kitchen slot here. Slide box height of around five foot eight. You do have roller shades. Once again, all the way throughout. Two Coleman mock air conditioners. There's a good sound quality test. This is of the 15K. 31 inch electric fireplace by Greystone. Cool little shoe garage. The place to tuck all your shoes when you walk under, excuse me, walk in, you can tuck them underneath the fireplace. Possibly ruined them out about a 48 inch TV there as well. Sound bar built in. These are made once again to set up in place more for, I wouldn't say full time, but longer stays. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen area here. And you're gonna have this drop-in stainless steel sink with a high-rise faucet. They give you these two added leaflets to continue all your prepping space there. But check out the size of this Greystone oven. Absolutely enormous. They even have a picture of a, well it appears to be a chicken or a turkey on the front. It's really big. We've added these really cool blue LED lights on the top too. And I'm trying to focus on more of the appliances on this model just because that's what it's about with these destination model or it's upgraded appliances. Residential refrigerator. So this will not work from the vehicle power. It's not a 12 volt refrige. This is the same refrigerator that you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever your hardware store is close to you and pick one out. As long as it fits the dimensions, it'll plug right in. So your pantry over here to the right, floor to ceiling, really deep pockets as well, going back about two feet. Just the same depth as the refrigerator there. Additional storage over there as well. Ceiling fan, I forgot to point that out. Let me show you some of the storage underneath the kitchen sink. I noticed this cool little organizer earlier. All the controls to operate all your slot operations are found next to the sliding glass door here. So your tankless hot water heater controls, your slot operations, your tank monitoring stations, everything's done nicely, well organized right here. Back to the bedroom, queen size bed and a bedroom slide and just check out how much space you're gonna have. When you have a bedroom slide going east to west, you get a little bit of a walkway. That way you have room to change. At the foot of the bed, you have additional hanging closets, TV connections. Give you a quick pan that I'm gonna scoot over, show you from a different angle. TV connections right here at the foot of the bed. Maybe room to mount, honestly, a 32. I wouldn't go too much bigger. And there's the TV connections up there. Breeze window here at the foot of the bed, and there's a shot of the blackout shade. And I told you I couldn't get that storage compartment open on the outside, but let me go ahead and lift up the bed and show you the storage under here. Hydraulic cylinder to assist. Now let's see if we all can fit inside of this bathroom. And I pointed to you on the outside what it looked like. So here's your linen closet. I've got going ahead and open that up to show you how deep it is. Plastic foot flush toilet drop-in sink and one cool thing that I am really you know, kind of impressed I guess you could say is the shower it's a little tight in here I'm gonna be honest but two-piece plastic shower you've got about a 12 foot inch 12 inch step up you know to get into the shower nice seat for the ladies but one thing that's impressive is the ceiling height I'm gonna stand in the shower all of us we're gonna stand in the shower together to give you an idea of how much room you got so I'm six foot two as you can tell you still have plenty of room and usually on models where the bathrooms at the back there really isn't that much head room. King bed and i'm gonna let the sleeper sofa out closer towards the end showing you how much walk around you're gonna have so bedroom slide again with a king size bed you have some shelving tucked back there blackout shades with a cool little curtain hanging on both sides acting as a balance your second 13.5 air conditioner is mounted here but you notice you have vents. These vents are from the main air back in the kitchen area. It's all ducked throughout. This air conditioner is just gonna dump all of its air here. So the thermostat will be controlled from the roof of the coach. The whole entire front of, the, of this destination model is closet. 
hanging closet there, mirror for all the ladies, and hidden behind this door, door number one is your stackable washer and dryer. Coach is the 50 amp coach. And that's a foot of the bed. More additional storage. Do apologize for the light. Breeze window. And you could mount a TV here as well. Maybe a 28 to 32 inch TV could be mounted there. Here in the front bathroom, two piece plastic shower giving you around 80 inches of ceiling height. And you still have about a 10 inch step up to get into the shower. Plastic foot flush toilet with an, uh, an okay place to hang your towel, I guess, once you're finished taking a shower. And check out the amount of linen cloths that you can have, full depth of the shower, which is quite nice whenever you're trying to house you know, upwards of six or seven people for a longer evening stay. So I've gone ahead and pulled out the sleeper sofa to show you how much move about space you'll possibly have when sleeping upwards of six people. For pricing and availability, I'll leave a link in the description down below but at date and time of making the video, MSRP of $59,421. For questions and comments, leave them in the comments section down below. Leave me a thumbs up. It definitely does help me out more than you guys know. Like, subscribe, come see us.